Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial series, I'm starting to teach about C++ and OpenCV based on OpenCV, but I will use C++ as a language. I will continue in this uh, in this plan, which is by the uh, by one by. First of all, I wanna start with image filtering. These function functions, all of functions, I wanna talk about. Then I will go on by one by. But uh, for exception, in this video, I will talk about im show and im read and wait key. And if we starting, why I'm choosing C++, not Python or other languages? Because faster, C++ faster than Python. Also, other reasons I like C++ than Python. Uh, but the people want to continue on Python also they can easily uh, use Python. Python is also a powerful language. But in this tutorial series I will use C++. The main reason it's faster. Then as an IDE I will use Qt. If you not have Qt in your, in your environment you can check my previous videos how to install it or how to link OpenCV or how to install OpenCV you can check all those videos I will not con uh, um, tell, talk about them again um, basically in this video as I said I will talk about imread, imshow and wait key let's, uh, let's continue with imread first of all Imread before Imread, we are the data type of standard data type of OpenCV, which is MAT. We are first of all de defining that, now then declaring as Imread. Imread, let's using an image or any image. Which image is actually it's accepting? As you can see here, these image types, all image types, is the um, types. Uh, extensions OpenCV supporting so any extensions of these you can use in your site I will use simply the Lena image which is a famous image in OpenCV then just copy and paste in here like this and close this is basically how to imread an image imread basically image uh, reading an image in any directory which is the one of the extensions of I already talk and assigning this image data to this data type which we called is image then after this we using simply imshow imread and imshow uh, friend to each other and you first reading then showing in the screen in the GUI and we writing after in here what we doing exactly with imshow in here you naming your window name which is um, which is the showing in the title of the window and image in here this data type which this imshow will show to you in the screen so we simply read in here and we showing in here but if you run this project like this, this will not work. The reason it's working, of course, but not showing anything. Because if you see anywhere im show in any code, if you want it working, you should also use wait key. Wait key is uh, wait key and im show have to be together always. So if you see wait key in anywhere of code should be imshow also. If you see anywhere of the code, code imshow also wait key should be in there. Wait key uh, is a delay. I mean, if you delay waiting the key keyboard hitting from you user, waiting the keyboard hitting from the user, how many millisecond is showing inside if you write one it will just showing you quickly and closing you didn't see for example if you make this showing then after one second it closing so if you're using zero 
it will waiting your hit key for example now waiting when i press any image uh, any key from keyboard it's gone so if you're using imrit you don't have to use imshow but if you're using imshow you should have to use wait key these two is friend and can never be separated to each other let's continue from zero again um and also i will not using using namespace but if you want to use it's also okay if you just do this don't need to use cv anymore like this but my, i prefer to use like this imrit basically reading this imrit has a one more uh, one more flag also inside you can adding like i'm read I'm read any color, any depth, color, grayscale, or other. For example, if you don't specify this, it will be colorful. And if you, for example, saying grayscale, it will converting it, not convert, reading it as a grayscale and showing you the grayscale format of the image. But if you not specify or you specify like color, or other types it will show you the colorful one other thing i want to talk about at the beginning as you see you can read in here the rgb values of the any pixel you walking through for example if you also zooming you can see from here the problem in open cv even in here seen like rgb format which is the standard format OpenCV read the images in BGR format and for this I want to tell you at the beginning there is no reason scientific reason it's just they designed it as BGR format for example RGB now but in OpenCV reading it as BGR so when you have a complicated issue in the future don't forget this uh, basement of basement design of OpenCV because it's reading as BGR in some situation you should convert it to RGB or while you splitting the channels please keep this in mind and for this there is no reason logically it's just how they designed it and this is the basic code of imread, imshow and wake and the people who don't want to use any Either you, they can also simply build it from the terminal, just coming to coming source code, then opening a terminal in here. Plus plus, let's say twelve, then adding the libraries and flags. Let's say open CV for and give us output. What giving error? Where I'm making wrong config package config lip C flex. Ah, I forgot to write the main CPP. When you write this, it will give you output and you can run it as like this and it will work so with that it also you can use in your ubuntu but my suggestion is um, download an ide to work on more easily it can be visual studio it can be q3 or up to how you choosing for people who want to continue on q3 they can Go through my previous videos, how to install it, how to link OpenCV, how to install OpenCV. And for this video, I just talked about Imrit, Imshow, WaitKey simply. Later, we will continue with image filtering module and we will starting from here one by one. We will go these functions, how they work. Yeah, for this video, this is the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.